morning you guys I am on my way to flow Mazda because I have a flat tire on my brand new car um, I know the other night I don't know if you watched the vlog but the first night that uh, my car got stranded my old car my Acura Jason went and bought this um, thing it's called the slime I believe but it is a it's a thing that you pump your tire up with I mean it's like a portable one it plugs into the uh, cigarette lighter that thing is awesome and I'm gonna do a review on it so right now we're gonna do like a little bit of a normal daily vlog but I'm also the mainly this is a review so um, look in the description blocks <laughs> so look in the description box below and I will put the time that if you're just here for the review go ahead and skip ahead and then you won't get all the other extra details I'm gonna show you really quick what I'm talking about so the day after I got the car I the the um, tire pressure thing showed up all right now I'm getting a dead battery and Jason's got the diaper bag with the other battery in it because he's taking the baby today to his mom's and it's supposed to be my day to work on vlogs so I was gonna edit today but instead I'm on my way to get this fixed so anyway I'm getting ready to pump this up because it's low um, I've already pumped it up once at about 7 o'clock this morning when I went to three different shops to see if they have the tires for this car but apparently they don't so that hasn't been fun but anyway I ran over something and so I just wanted to kind of like do an intro to this but I will actually talk about the product shortly but I'm gonna go take this to, to the flow place and then work on these vlogs and then I'll come back and give you some more details about the actual thing but um I will show it to you ladies you need one of these men you need to get your ladies one of these <laughs> It was $20 and it has saved my butt twice and if it had only saved it once it would have already paid for itself um, so this is the like fourth time that I'm getting ready to use it to pump up third time to pump up this tire no fourth time to pump up this tire and one to pump up another flat uh, another tire on my other car but it it inflates the tire I mean it's just as fast as a gas station with the convenience of it being in your trunk and it plugs into your cigarette lighter something that Jason suggested it was a criticism was that there is no light on the gauge so while there is a light on the actual unit itself so you can shine it at the tire to see what you're doing there is no light on the gauge as far as inflation time when Jason used this to pump up my tire the other night it was completely flat and he was able to inflate it in under five minutes the website says eight minutes it was able to do it in under five something that I really really like about this is that it actually screws on so you don't have to hold it on the tire while it's inflating it it's this simple there you go that's it and it rolls up into this nice little compact um, thing See? I'll show you hang on see how easy that is look at this there you go and it's not focused there you go and it rolls up the plug goes in the bottom the hose goes in the side and you can keep that thing in the trunk very thankful to have it you guys there was a plug in my tire when I bought it there was already a plug in it so I didn't take it back to the one that we got the car from but I took it to another branch of the same dealership and they said it absolutely should never have passed safety inspection because not only was it in the tire but it was also in the sidewall of the tire so I'll insert a picture here okay I just wanted to clarify a few things because I started editing this vlog and realized that I never finished it took my car to get it the tire looked at and I had like a thousand mile warranty I believe they ended up replacing the tire free of charge because like I was saying before there was a plug in it and I know you guys saw the picture but just so you know I thought that where I'd been parking my car in the garage because we don't normally use the garage for cars but 
we were we have like sap that comes out of the trees and so Jason's like let's let's move stuff around and you park your car in the garage so that's where it lives now well he does woodworking in there and I thought that um that I ran over a piece of wood that he had cut and he thought that too and we actually felt the plug in the tire when when he was rubbing his hand around there he's like look there it is and that's kind of what it felt like it felt like like a thick piece of wood almost like just a like it had just stuck in the tire and it turns out it was not it was a plug and not only was the plug in the tire but it was more or less in the sidewall of the tire and I know from um, earlier in the day going around to different places to get them to look at the tire to see if I could save it or um, or asking questions about getting it plugged or getting the tire replaced they said as long as the hole is in the tire we can do it but if it's in the sidewall or near the sidewall then we're not going to be able to plug it well I knew from feeling it I was like, well, it's, out. it's probably, it's not, it's definitely not in the center. It's more towards the inside of the tire. And they said, yeah, that would probably, we can try to plug it, but it's probably not going to plug. So anyway, they basically told me that it should have never passed inspection. Um, I think what happened was that when we went to look at the car, when we pulled up, they were like, what are you looking for? And we said, you know, I'm kind of liking the Mazda 6s. And he's like, hang on, I'll be right back. And he said, we don't actually have one. When he came back to the car, he said, we don't actually have one here. But I can go get one for you. If you'll wait, I'll be back in 15 minutes. And he was back in 15 minutes. And he had picked it up from another location. Because in our area, Flow is one of the bigger car dealerships um, around. And so they've got multiple locations. So we picked up the car from a different location and um, we test drove it that day and we ended up getting it the next day. And he was holding it for us um, for that 24 hours while we were trying to decide if that's what we were gonna get. And so I think that maybe it just came in and sold so quickly that they didn't look at it. I did leave a review, kind of a negative, I mean I left a negative review for them because as you will see, um, right now this is a little bit confusing, but right now, you're way into the future because I'm actually editing videos. So this is almost a month later. But you'll see, I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging on this, but there were also issues with the GPS and um, the SD card was broken. And so I end up having to go, well, I'm telling you too much now, but I end up having to go back to Flow Mazda again because basically they just didn't do a good job of inspecting the car. They did not inspect the car well before we got it. And, um, you know I love the car I still love the car and everything's fine now they made everything right I did leave a bad review for that branch um, and I said that you know despite that our sales guy was absolutely awesome Thomas was great and I would do business with him again and I would do business with flow again but I want to say it's probably their management I don't know that's just my opinion I would not go back to that branch so anyway the reason that we're doing this video though is about the slime and I would go and purchase if I if I was to lose that today I'd go and purchase another one it needs to be in your car at all times it is perfect it is the best $20 that I've spent you can't even go out and get something to eat for $20 basically so go get a slime put it in your trunk and have it with you at all times. Go get a slime, $20. This is not promoted in any way, shape or form. I just really like it. And as a female, I do not want to be stranded. And it seems like every car I've had, I've always had issues with the tires. If I had known to take a chance on a $20 thing, I would have gotten it a long time ago. It's paid for itself. And if something does happen to it, the very next time I go to use it, I will be purchasing another one to replace that one because it is well worth the money. So I hope this helps. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. If you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on that M there and um, like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can comment, ask any questions that you have. Um, we're trying to get to 100 subscribers, so I'd really like for you to come and join us on a regular basis. We put out videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we're going on vacation soon, so be on the lookout for that because we're very excited. We're going to Colorado and I can't wait. Have a good day.